Hello everyone, this is Jason from Primetime Aquatics and today we're going to get another one of those 33 longs set up and I think you're going to like it. It's going to look a little bit different than what we've got so far, so stay tuned. Alright, so again, I just want to give you a, a quick background so far of what we've done on this wall. So this was the first tank that we set up. Uh, here we have the Red Devils. Again, this is a, more of a temporary thing. We're just giving them a home that was larger than the 10 gallon that they were in. Uh, we'll adjust their home as needed. And then we came over here and we did this 33 long. And this has the Thrichthys maculopinus. So they kind of look like firemouth cichlids. And we use very similar gravel. Uh, we have a planted tank with wisteria. We have the driftwood and a couple of rocks. And again, this may change. Uh, we may add some more rocks in the future. What we have to do now is we're going to be looking at the next 33 long and we're going to set that up and it's going to be different from what we've seen so far. So it's going to be different from that 33 long. It's going to be different from this 40 gallon breeder. Okay, so here is this next 33 long. We got everything set up the way we like it. So once again, we've got a sponge filter in there that is already cycled from another tank. That one is new. We have some shells and we have some sandstone. So what do you think is going in this tank? Stay tuned. Okay, so here we have this tank finally set up. It is Lake Tanganyikan style. Uh, we've got the white sand, we've got the shells, we've got the sandstone. I found this little extra rock here. Now, the fish. The fish, unfortunately, are going to be really hard to find. They are the Lamprologus calypterus that we had in the 10 gallon. And unfortunately, they're really shy uh, in this new setup. Now, there is one, which I don't even think you'll be able to see, but it is under there. Oop, there's one right there. So you can see him right there. There are actually eight of these fish in this tank. Now, why did we move them from the 10 gallon? The males can get big. Uh, they might be four or five, maybe even six inches, where the females stay a lot smaller. They only get to be two or three inches. They are, in a sense, shell-dwelling Tanganyikans. At least the females are. And so there's another one back here behind this shell. And the nice thing about these fish is they're going to get some decent color. And they're not showing it now. So on the black substrate with black background they were completely black now here they've turned silver as they get older 
they're going to get a nice pearly sort of appearance to them maybe with a little bit of blue a little bit of yellow but they're still pretty young right now so right now they're not completely active they're again they're still getting used to their surroundings they don't take well to change but we i think they're gonna eventually get a lot more active uh, they're gonna grow a lot faster here uh, we put them in that 10 gallon to grow out and now it's just a matter of getting them uh, in comfortable in the situation so the sand that we used uh, it is a white sand it's nat geo sand i switched to this from pool filter sand because the nat geo sand is traditionally a heavier sand and it makes cleaning the tanks a lot easier and so you can actually gravel vac this stuff and not suck it up in your gravel vac where the pool filter sand because it's a finer grade sand it's lighter and depending on how much suction you have going uh, you could potentially suck that up through the siphon and into my, our wastewater system and we don't want that so we're going to go with this we're going to see how it does obviously the white sand can be a little bit of a pain because you have to you know anything that's on the substrate is going to show so we'll see how it works out the sandstone uh, sandstone we're not worried about because these fish like harder water they like water with a higher pH and we've had this now in a few tanks and it really hasn't changed the water chemistry uh, too much if at all uh, we have this in our pseudotrophius um, solosi tank uh, it is now down here in the red devil tank and i believe we have it in another tank and i just can't remember which one that is but it really hasn't done a whole lot to the water chemistry and if it does it's going to be beneficial to the types of fish that we're keeping for the most part in these tanks so this is the setup uh, we're going to do more on these fish once they get a little bit larger once they start to color up become more interesting and a little bit more active but it's a nice this tank is you know it's it's different compared to what we have uh, down here and over there and I, I like it I think it's it's a nice one love to hear in your comments uh, what do you think is the, the best one so far this one or maybe it's the uh, Thrichthys maculopinus tank the planted tank or the red devil tank over there but I, I really like this setup I, I like the way it looks I, I think it's going to be pretty cool long term uh, so up and coming then we still have this tank to do which is going to look different than the other ones and this tank over here i'm excited about because we've got some stuff coming i think it's going to make it look pretty cool so uh, that is our lake tank and you can tank for the lampralagus calypterus so before we go i wanted to show you something else that we're really excited about looky there look at the little guys swimming around our cyprochromus finally gave us some babies we got four new ones swimming and when the females spit them out they were large because they weren't there yesterday and so we can see them here uh, very happy about this this is a fish i've been wanting to breed for a while so i'm glad that we're starting to get a colony set up uh, if you recall at one point i was worried that maybe the brevis would make that more difficult but the size that she spit these fry out uh, they're they're pretty big they're not going to be able to mess with them too much so awesome I, i'm really looking forward to raising these up and hanging on to these because i want a larger colony and what's really cool is some of our females here we've got other females that are holding so uh, hopefully this starts a nice trend and we can build up this colony uh, get about eight or so maybe more get them in a larger tank i wouldn't mind setting up a larger tank for them and then maybe uh, getting these into our clubs and stuff so uh, pretty happy about that all right everyone so I hope you enjoyed that. It's got a little bit of a different feel being a lake tank and you can sort of set up. It's different than what we've done so far. And I promise as we go through and set up the other tanks, they're gonna look different as well. And so on that wall, we're getting a little bit of variety. Uh, we've got the Red Devil tank, which is a temporary thing. That's gonna change over time. We've got the 33 long with the Therichthys in it, which has got more of a uh, planted feel to it. And then of course, we've got the 33 long that we just set up with the Tanganyikan style. And as we keep going, with the other setups, you're going to see some differences there too. So if you like this video, share, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.